pandemic. Charles McClain, Olive Branch Police Department. 36 new Mississippi officers walked across the stage after a grueling seven weeks at the Mississippi Law Enforcement Officers Training Academy. 46 straight days of constant, constant chaos in our, in our eyes, but it, it was tough. Sir, yes, sir! The pandemic has put restrictions on most things, but police departments still needed officers to be trained. So the academy improvised, putting together a program where recruits never left the building. Previously, classes were 12 weeks and recruits got to go home on the weekends. This group quarantined together for seven weeks after multiple COVID tests to train safely. You have to have the right mind to do this profession. When my chief told us that the only way we could come to the academy is if we stayed seven straight weeks, at first it was very de depressing and discouraging, but at the end of the day, this is what we signed up for and this is what we want. The group spent over 40 days and nights preparing to become an officer under grueling conditions that would get them ready for the job. That's the biggest thing that I learned here is thinking before you act, and that includes speaking. Uh, and that's what we need in our profession is people to think before they act. I've been through a lot and I've seen a lot and it's things in my community that I think that I will be able to fix. Now this meant leaving behind their families and for one new officer, missing the birth of his baby daughter. I wrote her every day. I wrote in my journal every day about her. So she has letters that told her what I was doing that day and how I got through it and you know, how it was and how stressful it was not being there for. Guest speaker Senator Cindy Hyde-Smith expressed her appreciation to these officers as they start their patrol. They put their lives on the line every single day for us. And the security of that, that when you dial 911 or when you call the police department, somebody's on their way. Basic class, 264, Lori Ann. Now, these officers will start their careers in a pandemic, which means there are added challenges. But the ones that took the oath to serve and protect say it's all worth it. Allie Ware, 16, WAPT News.